Hey YouTube, today's video is going to be for the new players, the returning players, and the players who kind of just are stuck, who don't know how to fund themselves, how to get anywhere, how to progress in Reboot. So there are a lot of key things that I think are super important, but hands down, the most important thing in Reboot is Mesos. Mesos are hands down, again, the staple of Reboot. You know, Reboot was made to kind of reflect how much effort you put into the game itself, how much time you spend, how much, you know, work you put into your account as compared to the regular servers where you can just kind of pay to win, where people can give you items, people can fund you without having to do any work at all. So let's say if you're a cute girl or guy, you could be funded easily by just kind of swooning people left and right. Um, you can't do that in Reboot. We can't trade, you know, everything is really dependent on how much effort we put into the game. So let's start off with the very first thing that I think is really, 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 really crucial because Reboot is made where you don't have to spend any money, but I think you should spend at least $15. These $15 should be allocated towards a pet, a pet with auto loot, auto pickup for mesos, items, um, auto buff, auto heal. The pet itself is going to cost you 4900 NX, which is about $4.90. And then you should get the pet skill package, which is about $7. And then an auto HP skill as well, which is going to cost you $1. So all of that is going to be about 13 KNX, so about $15. Now, you can definitely get by without it, but you're going to have hands down the worst time playing reboot ever like literally ever because again it's all about mesos and if you don't have the ability to pick them up quickly your rates are going to go down south everything is going to be very very annoying and honestly i wouldn't know what to do if i didn't have an auto heal pet especially when i was training my legion um you know they start off giving you a snail pet that lasts five hours active use so if you just leave it until you're level 100 or so and then use it at level 100 it should last you all the way until about 200 depending on how much effort you put in you know if you ever go afk make sure you take the pet and put it away because time is going to tick so that's super important that five hour pet really really takes you a long way you know it's going to pick up a lot of mesos for you so just make sure you utilize that time correctly and then get a pet afterwards it's going to help you a ton you're going to have a, such a good time as compared to not having a pet so with that being said meso gear is super important if you don't know what meso gear is most accessories in Maple Story, your rings, your pendants, your earrings, and your face and eye accessories can get potential that gives you more meso rates. You can have up to 100% on your equips, meaning five different accessories can have plus 20% meso. There's also a ton of other things. There's also drop rate, but I'm going to get into why I think meso is a lot better, especially when you're starting out compared to drop rate. So it does cost mesos to get there. So we're going to talk about alternative methods to get mesos for cubes and whatnot a little bit later. But meso gear is super important because again, it's the state of reboot mesos and you're going to be training in this meso gear so having it before anything is really really important and it's going to really really help you fund yourself because you're going to be training anyways so the meso rate is going to come and you know once you get used to training in meso gear you know how much damage you need you know how much you're missing out on and you know exactly what you need as far as stats to be able to one shot mobs in the specific map you're training in so that you can also keep up with earning mesos and even so with totems disappearing meso is still important and even more so honestly totem rates were absolutely insane on my shadow where i was making 670 mil per hour on totem without a legion wealth coupon if i had that wealth coupon i would have made almost one bill per hour and that was absolutely insane with totems gone that's probably gonna drop down to like 450 or something Anywhere you can find meso in your inner abilities, in your accessories, those are going to be super important. And why do I think that meso gear is more important than drop gear? Honestly, to be able to even build your drop gear, you need mesos. To be able to build your stats, to be able to cube, be able to star force, you need mesos. So I feel like prioritizing meso gear is super important because that's what's going to kind of get you off the ground and get you past the foundation of your account. So let's say that you had all drop gear, no meso lines whatsoever you could be making like 150 to 200 mil an hour and you know 
yeah, mesos, awesome, sick. But imagine that could be 200 to 400 mil an hour simply because you had meso gear instead of drop. And especially in the lower levels, your drop gear is is it, it's important, of course. But you're gonna get some node stones, you're gonna get some other stuff, but you're not gonna really increase your damage too much. And then that's kind of gated because at the end of the day, once you max out your boost nodes, there's not really much else to do as far as damage goes. So having that meso to be able to star force and to be able to cube is super, super crucial. So just keep in mind, meso gear should be your top priority when it comes to training gear next to your WSE, which is your weapon, your secondary, and your emblem, which are also very important as far as your damage goes. So having those three, the WSE and the meso gear is super important so make sure to prioritize that over anything else. Next we're going to talk about alternative ways to get meso so that you can actually build that meso gear or just start funding yourself every single day by clearing daily bosses, doing daily ursus and doing daily maple tour. Daily bosses will get you a lot of mesos, and honestly, by level 200, you should be able to clear most of them. Normal Zakum, normal Magnus, which could still be a struggle because Magnus is really annoying and honestly, he's the worst game boss in the game. Normal Hilla, <laughs> normal Pink Bean, Arcarium, Von Leon, Ranmaru. These are super simple bosses. Horntail, these should all be able to be cleared and just give you a good amount of mesos every day. I believe it's probably around 60 mil per day and then ursus will give you anywhere from 60 to 100 mil per day because it depends on your level so if you're 200 it gives you i believe 19 mil and then if you're level 250 it gives you 34 mil so the higher you go the more you get um and lastly maple tour maple tour will give you 350 mil a week if you don't claim it early if you claim it early it cuts it in half so let's say you had 300 mil in the bank and you claimed it early it would give you 150 mil instead of 300 so all doing all of this every single day a week we'll probably get around one bill so it's pretty pretty simple you just have to kind of devote the time to it and all this is going to get you started towards that meso gear which could take anywhere from maybe one bill to four or five bill maybe even more depending on how lucky you get and honestly, that's as far as Meso goes. And that's honestly how you start progressing in Reboot. Like that's the fastest way to start progressing. And I know there's a lot of videos out there on gear and, and how you have to get CRA and then Absolab and Arcanes. And there's a lot of stuff about gear, but I feel like there's not that much about how to actually fund yourself as far as Mesos and stuff go. Because how do you get this gear? How do you go about, you know, actually being able to afford star forcing and cubing? Because once you have the gear, it's only just gear you know you could have like a 10 set or a 10 star five set pencil art gear and then it's still better than your cra which probably isn't true but you know it, there's a lot of different things that go into it not just the gear itself so anyways besides gear what can you do to fund yourself what can you do to get stronger so you can actually one shot in your meso gear First things first is nodes, and I know that you're not in drop gear, you're trying to go for meso gear, but you know, having nodes drop is really, really good. All those nodes are gonna help you boost your skills. Now, if you don't know what node stones are, I definitely recommend looking up a node guide and kind of just look into them because nodes are super important for any character. Once you have your max boost nodes, this is pretty much your main source of boosting your damage because if you don't have max nodes, it doesn't matter who you are, if everything is level one skill, your damage is going to suck and you're not going to be able to one shot anywhere. So nodes are super important. So make sure you guys pay attention to that. Look up a guide and just kind of figure it out. And maybe I'll make a guide myself. There are a lot of ways to go about it. And I feel like a lot of people don't talk about the two different ways you can go about nodes. So maybe I will make a guide in the future about that. The next thing you want to do is focus on all your arcane dailies and arcane symbols. Your symbols are super crucial to your gains because they give you a ton of stat and a lot of damage, especially in the arcane maps. So the way that arcane force works is that if you're a certain percent over the needed required level of arcane force you do extra damage up to 150 percent so you could do you know 50 percent more damage if you have enough arcane force so doing your dailies will level up your symbols to be able to get to that point on top of that your symbols actually give you stat with a base of 200 every level you gain for your symbol gives you an extra 100 stat so at level 10 symbol you get about 1200 stat per symbol and you can get that six times symbols max out at level 20 meaning that once you finally max out all six symbols you're gonna get if i did my math correctly you're gonna get about 13.2 thousand stats from maxed symbols and that is 
absolutely huge. That's already a character that can do Lomian by itself. So imagine that. So eventually it's going to be absolutely insane and you're going to skyrocket. Just make sure you do all your dailies. It gives really good experience as well. So make sure you do that. Now, of course, if you guys are in your solo progression and you don't have CRA and Sweetwater yet, CRA is going to be super important. Maybe not the weapon so much as the top, the hat, and the bottom. Because the top, the hat, and the bottom will stay with you until you get Eternal Set, which not many people or any people really have at all right now but that is super crucial so their cra set is going to be hands down the set that stays with you until the very end pretty much and if you can't do commercy commercy pq is going to help you get your you know weapons in line if you can't get cra just yet and it's super super simple to get it takes a few quests that'll take you probably 30 minutes and then you can start doing commercy runs and get equips from that. Utilizing events is super important also because every event that has a coin shop will give you 100 symbols of each region and that is good for a lot of levels especially if you're at a level 1 it'll take you up from a level 1 symbol to like a level 6 symbol so you know it's a very very huge jump 100 symbols each are very important it also sells experience node stones regular node stones and droplets and whatnot to help you progress so events are awesome and you should definitely utilize them for the event rings to make meso or drop gear and just you know being able to have all those resources given to you basically for free all you got to do is devote some time because again because again it's reboot and it's all based on how much time and how much effort you put into your account lastly the drop gear guys the drop gear is going to be important for when you're clearing bosses and want to get drops when you're you can get flames from them you can get cubes you can get exp coupons you know drop gear should be up there in your priorities but i feel like again meso gear should come first and then do your drop gear anyways that's gonna be all for today's video guys i hope this was a nice little guide for progressing through reboot that wasn't really necessarily focused so much on gear itself but kind of how to fund yourself how to solo fund yourself and kind of the daily tasks that you need to take to be able to get to that point because besides that with training and meso gear you're always going to be picking up mesos and again if you have a pet it makes life so much easier but again you don't necessarily need one but your life is going to absolutely suck and your meso rates are probably going to suck also so so pets, even if it's just $15, if you want to buy three, that's even better because, you know, they're all going to loot. If you have a vac pet, that's absolutely insane, but maybe you don't want to drop $100 on a game and that's definitely understandable. So all of those are something to consider and... Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything because there's a lot of different ways that you can progress. So if you guys think of any other thing that I didn't say, drop it in the comments below for any of the viewers to see and let's kind of progress together. All right, guys, have a nice day and happy mapling.